So Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And I, ve I, I see a very strong Scorpio vibe here because of this death card in the reverse position. So I feel like a lot of you have spent a, an enormous amount of time kind of contemplating, thinking about this person, thinking about what the relationship, like what happened in the relationship. And I feel there's an element here about what did the other person do wrong? How could they treat me like that? And this is basically waiting for the harvest, waiting for something to come to fruition, waiting, anticipating that they're going to be coming back or anticipating there's going to be some type of a communication with them. I don't feel like you're hoping for them to come back to rekindle the relationship. I feel like there's an element here about a falling out between two people, mainly because they're showing up in the reverse. And I feel like you're half-heartedly waiting. It's like not waiting to rekindle, but waiting for some things to creep up, waiting to kind of hear about them or hear from them. And it could be finance related. So you might have financial entanglements with this person. You might also have children with this person. You might have some uh, things that are unfinished between the two of you. And I feel overall, this is not somebody that's occupying a lot of your energy or a lot of your time. It's not like really on the front burner, but there's still some lingering attachments here. And at any point, I feel like, you know, you might run in the same circles, you have might have mutual friends, your families might know each other. And so hearing about them or hearing, you know, about them through the grapevines or hearing other people talk about them, it's inevitable. So I feel like it's some, some influence in your life that's always there. And so you're trying to make a change, but I feel it's hard mainly because of the entanglements that are still happening between the two of you. Let me talk about this person. We have here Page of Cups in the reverse position. Um, I'm sensing like this is somebody who is, um, I'm hearing like sexually inexperienced. So I feel like what that means is it's, um, it's a, a little bit of an irresponsible, reckless type of behavior. And uh, if you have children with this person, it seems to me like it was, you know, something that can be a little bit reckless like a reckless act leading to children. That's what it feels like to me. And then I'm also feeling as well, this water sign, um, there is an element here about them not being ready to be in a relationship, not being ready. So I feel like they might have the best intentions, but when it comes to like truly opening up and, you know, giving you the 100% commitment or giving you that true intimacy, I feel like it wasn't there. And for whatever reason, I feel like this person you felt like was not emotionally supportive of you. Okay, so going back to what I mentioned with the general reading, um, just because someone is not, you know, 100% behind you, it doesn't mean that they're against you. It's just, if you're dealing with this person, a water sign, different element than you, opposite from you, they're going to exhibit love and affection in a different way. It doesn't excuse, you know, their behavior, but what I'm feeling is that you might have a lot of conflict of interest with this person, mainly because your ideologies, your philosophies, your outlooks are very, very different from each other. So I feel like there's still some karma that needs to be released. And I mentioned before, you know, let go of resentment, let go of grudges, because it's really going to affect only you. And so I feel like this is something that emotionally is still occupying your mind. With the death card in the reverse, it's almost like unable to let it go. So if you're cycling through what exactly happened, if you're waiting for this person to step up, grow up, or, you know, if there's financial uh, expectations from this person, I feel that you need to kind of approach this as I'm my own person. I can take care of myself. I need to move on. So if there's like financial hangups, um, I don't feel like fighting it out to the tooth and nail is going to solve everything. I feel like it's best to let this person be on their way, mainly because they're not ready. Okay. So.
Oh gosh. A lot of conflicts coming in. A lot of conflicts. So, we have here Seven of Wands. This is basically, um, it's, it's a conflict-ridden card, okay? So this is like defending our values, even when there are a lot of people opposing us, defending our values, defending what we believe to be true, and um, a lot of responsibilities as well on your plate, and you're trying to tackle them one at a time. You have a lot going on for you this month where I feel like it's not really relationship-oriented. It's just trying to get by, trying to get through the day, trying to keep afloat, trying to take care of everything that needs to be taken care of. So I feel like some people with very, very big families, a lot of children, and um, a lot of mouths to feed, a lot of um, things to do, a lot of maintenance when it comes to children. And the other card that shows up here is the Five of Wands, needing to play mediator in other people's relationships, needing to play a mediator in your own marriage, needing, needing to calm down and kind of like de-escalate tension rather than adding fuel to the fire. So I feel like there's a lot of conflict that are happening here for those of you who are in committed relationships, okay? So I asked um, who this conflict entails, and we have here the Four of Wands, so I feel like for some of you, this is a marriage partner or a significant other that you're dealing with where there is a lot of things happening on your end. You're super busy. Your partner is also dealing with his or, or her own internal conflicts or even, you know, problems at work, jealousy, petty people, a lot of um, disgruntled clients and things like that. So both parties are kind of not emotionally available and both parties are wondering why, like, where's my partner? Why aren't they emotionally available for me? I've had a really bad day. Why are they not there to support me? You guys are both going through some really stressful things and you might bring this energy home and let it affect your relationship okay so please don't let that happen okay we have a we need to choose to make conscious decisions about um leaving work at work and not letting it affect our relationship with our significant others but also if you're around children if you have children don't bring the energy home because children are very very sensitive they're very susceptible they're very perceptive as well and this uh, toxic energy is not really going to be good for them so I feel like some of you might be dealing with another fire sign so another Leo a Sagittarius or an Aries Sun Moon or rising and while the relationship it is very very stable there are pockets of uh, dissidents happening where you have a lot of chemistry with each other and um, I also feel as well there's still some conflicts coming through. It's gonna get resolved. We have here the um, judgment card. And also the conflict can be coming in from family members, in-laws, and you know, meddling in your relationship, or annoyances, you know, like family expectations versus your expectations for your relationship partner. And likewise, you know, their family expectations versus their expectations for you. So all of these things are going to be hashed out. They will be resolved peacefully and they will, you know, allow you both to move forward with a lot more harmony. So I feel like the the um the beginning of the month for the next two weeks at least, there's this energy creeping through, but I feel like towards the end of the month, this is when you're going to have a truce with your partner, and this is when this energy is going to die down. If you are dealing with a fire sign, even if you're not married, I still see that element coming through, but there's going to be a peaceful resolution. Basically like a truce or a consensus, or kind of like a situation where you both will start to compromise with each other. have the water sign coming back into the picture this is showing up here as um, the knight of cups and this is in the upright position the strength card and usually I look at this as you know it, it is your card but it's almost like uh, learn from the past 
look at the big picture and be wise, don't jump the gun. So this is a card about waiting for the right opportunity, waiting to hear what the other person has to say, waiting, biding your time to make sure that they are sincere and honest because I feel like there has been some type of, there's a really strong attraction here, but there has been some type of conflict in the past and I feel like it's deep in the past but there's still lingering resentment. This is a card about an empty victory, discussions that lead nowhere, that leave both parties very hurt and scathed and when it's in the reverse position it's like vowing to kind of like agree to disagree because the disagreements are just so divisive that it's hard to reach a conclusion so there is still some lingering um, you know attraction between you and this water sign so Pisces Cancer Scorpio for others of you who have been dealing with this and is this is a brand new person I feel like there's a lot of attraction, but there's also, you know, once again, different elements. Um, there needs to be some type of maneuvering, a softening up the energy, not being combative when you're dealing with this person, because I feel like you're very energetic. You're really anxious to get things moving. And then this person, they're going to buy their time. They're a little bit wishy-washy, so it can really grate your nerves, but I feel like when they do something, they want to be a little bit more deliberate. And they want to make sure that it is long-term, viable, and sustainable. Otherwise, they don't just want to jump right in and ask questions later. So if you are dealing with a water sign, and this is somebody that I feel you might like, you might be very fascinated by, you might have a crush on, or you might um, be really attracted to, I feel like they're not 100% ready to jump into a relationship just yet. I feel like they have some things that they still need to work out. They might have had some disappointment, some deceit, some, you know, infidelities and things like that from their past relationship partner. They're still trying to get over it and they're still possibly still talking to their ex, trying to sort things out. And I feel like because of that, they're not ready. It has nothing to do with you. It's just this person needs to take more time to themselves. Okay. So that's a water sign, and especially if that's a new person that you're dealing with. So what do your guides have in terms of spiritual advice for you for the month of November? Love, romance, and relationships. Okay. So let's talk about this. The Five of Pentacles in the reverse. The Five of Pentacles in the reverse is a really good card when it comes to love and relationship. Um, in the reverse position, this is a card about, you know, self-esteem, self-worth. What am I really deserving of? I feel like for many of you, if you've been kind of um, going after the wrong types of people because you feel like, oh, they're giving me so much attention or they're giving me, you know, that validation, they're stroking my ego and things like that. I feel like this is the month where those actions or those types of people um, are not necessary anymore. You're coming out of this phase where you have, you know, like overcome a lot of self-doubt, a lot of negative self-talk. You're coming into your own again. You're starting to realize what you're worth. You're starting to realize what you need. You're starting to realize what you want. And you don't need another person to tell you, you know, how attractive you are or how how um, some guy or some girl would be really lucky to have you. You embody this energy where you know what you're worth. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with the fact that with the moon in the reverse, it's kind of like mental clarity, where in, in the past things have been very, very foggy. You thought it was this way, but you're not 100% sure, or you're getting you know, some type of hint, some type of intuitive hits, but you don't really have concrete evidence to really back it up. So this is the month where I feel like there will be concrete evidence. There will be contact. There will be communication from whoever it is that you're dealing with. And as a result of it, it's really going to shine some light into some major situations. I'm feeling as well, if there is a relationship that you had, you know, assets would live together, shared, even a family situation where you have children together, there's going to be communication from that person that can be upsetting. It's going to throw the wrench in the works in your plan. So if you're planning to move, if you're planning to relocate, if you're planning to restart your life, you're going to hear back from the past 
people from the past and it's going to throw the wrench in the works it's going to derail your plans so i feel like you need to have a contingency plan and then on top of that you need to really focus this month if you're coming out of this phase where you have self-doubt you need to start the new phase by being on your own by making decisions for yourself not riding you know the coattails of other people or especially depending on other people to make a plans and then bandwagoning and then jumping on board so i feel like other people and their promises just are not going to be good for you to rely on okay i feel like you're going to have to make some plans you're going to have to bust out of this type of like oh i don't know if i can do it on my own or um i don't know if i'm capable or i don't know if i have enough resources the resources will be coming in and you need to start saving and you need to really think about long term where do i want to be and i feel like with this world card it's about opportunities coming in but i feel there's a lot of fear there's a lot of fear so once again with that general reading i mentioned you know this is the month where it's really going to test your sense of adventure if in the past you've been like, oh, I wish, you know, I could do something new. I wish I can get out of here. The opportunity is here this month. And I feel like that's when it's really going to test you. Are you as adventurous as you say you are? Or is it all talk? And then at the same time, are you as fearless as you think you are? Or are you still mired in a lot of fears? Fears of not being able to succeed fears of disappointment, fears of failure, and things like that, okay? So I feel like there's a lot of readjustment that needs to happen in relationships and not letting relationships kind of derail our plans and not letting people from the past kind of sweet talk us back into a situation that was very problematic, okay? Um, Leos, I wish you the best. If you are in a relationship and there's a lot of squabbles, there will be resolution, so don't worry. But if you're kind of like, done with a relationship sometime this year you need to really be very fixed in your resolve to you know stick by it okay once you're done you need to be completely done don't doubt yourself because i feel like that energy past energies um people from the past coming back in and it's funny because it's not even mercury in retrograde until december so i feel like this is something where you're you're getting a glimpse of something from the past and it's supposed to uh, strengthen your resolve to leave it alone, I feel. But if you are still clinging on to resentment and grudges, you might want to poke at it just to agitate it. And that's not really going to serve you well, okay? So be careful about what we do here and be a lot more deliberate about grabbing new opportunities moving thinking about what you need to do to make yourself happy independent of other people okay so i wish you all the best take care bye bye